This video was sponsored by Park Candy. Do you like tiki birds? Well, stay tuned until the end of the video to find out how you can have them on your body in shirt form. Wait, that came out wrong. Over its 45 years, attractions at the Magic Kingdom have been a source of inspiration for all of Walt Disney Parks resorts, including at our most technologically advanced park, Shanghai Disney Resort. So I think it's only fitting that it will be soon home to be Shanghai's highest rated attraction. That's right, Tron is coming home. ride and I agree it's a total rush. At Walt Disney World it will sit in an entirely new space right next to Space Mountain. And we're planning to open in time for the 50th. Little did we know. Shanghai Disneyland opened in 2016, and along with it, Tron Light Cycle Power Run in Tomorrowland. It stood in place of the usual Space Mountain in Tomorrowland because it made more sense and blended in with the more modern theme Disney was going with for this new interpretation of the land. Well, here we are, five years later in the futuristic year of 2022, 2022. and Tron is... Still taking forever to build, Disney! What's going on? Why is it taking so long? All you have to- Sorry guys. Lost my cool there for a second. Tron is still chugging along at a slow and steady pace, but it's not done yet. Yes, we've seen the signs and we've seen the iron framework rise slowly and slowly. It's mainly just slowly over Tomorrowland at the Magic Kingdom. It's so exciting. I mean, for crying out loud, they built the entirety of Disneyland in just about a year. They built that entire theme park in just about one year. Why is Tron taking so long? Especially since they've built one before. Well, my friends, it's more than just COVID affecting the timeline for Tron's opening. There is actually a lot more going on here that we don't even realize as we walk through the park. The story starts all the way back in 1975 in Orlando when Space Mountain finally opened to the public. Now, Space Mountain was a massive hit. Disneyland had the Matterhorn, the world's first steel tubular roller coaster, but Disney World didn't open with a thrill ride, and when they finally got it, it was a pretty close match to what they had over in Anaheim. Ah, I can hardly stand it. The big event is starting! The official dedication of Space Mountain in Tomorrowland. You're gonna see thousands of flying doves, a pageant of nations with a 2,000 member band. Can you stand it? Yeah, I think I'll be all right. You start to notice the resemblance between Disneyland's Matterhorn and Disney World's Space Mountain when you look at the ride vehicles and the layout, the two different loading tracks, the one-by-one -one seaters. They were both reminiscent of each other. And because it was so popular in Orlando, they opened one in Anaheim, which sort of seems unfair. I mean, Space Mountain was originally sort of the answer to the Matterhorn, and now Disneyland had both. But again, it was a smash hit and joined the ranks of Disney classics like It's a Small World, Haunted Mansion, Pirates, you know, the usual suspects. And every single Disneyland-style park from here on out would go on to open with its own version of Space Mountain, except for two, Disneyland Paris, which is its own complete and separate mess, and of course, Shanghai Disneyland. But that's not to say Imagineers didn't have something up their sleeve. Shanghai was meant to be the biggest and best Disney park of them all so far, and alongside the massive Enchanted Storybook Castle, Imagineers came up with a new take on the classic pointy white conical structure that we always see looming above Tomorrowland, just sort of beckoning us to journey aboard. It was Tron. The answer, as all of my fellow coaster enthusiasts know, was Tron Light Cycle Power Run, a semi-enclosed launched steel motorbike roller coaster. That's a lot of words to describe a, a fun, fast ride. Let's go ahead and break it down for you here. Semi-enclosed, part of the track goes outside. That's what that cool canopy you see being built over Tomorrowland is. Always an awesome aspect of attractions when they go or are outside. It lends a lot of kinetic motion to the land. It brings it to life, and Tron is going to be doing that for Tomorrowland. Long 
launched. A launched roller coaster doesn't have a hill at the beginning that you have to go up very slowly in order to gain momentum to go around the twists and the turns and the loops, like the aforementioned Space or Big Thunder Mountains. Instead, think Incredicoaster at California Adventure or the Rock and Roller Coaster at Hollywood Studios. It's that sort of launch at the beginning. Steel, meaning it's not made out of solid gold, at least not yet, not until Walt gets his hands on it like he did with Small World. Motorbike coasters are a style of roller coasters where the cars are meant to be straddled and sort of sat on like a bike as opposed to sat in like a traditional roller coaster. And roller coaster, I believe, is a style of theme park ride. I could be wrong. I might have to double check that. And boy, howdy, did everybody love Tron. It was a really good improvement over the original Space Mountains, and it was a new ride system, and it went outside. It was something we had never seen before in a Disney park. All of us stateside, I think it's safe to say, were a bit jealous. But just a year later in 2017, good old Bobby Chapek, our best friend, made the announcement at D23 Expo. And then, later on that year, construction began. It's a big day for our Tron project team here. We're finally going vertical with the first of our over 300 ride columns that'll ultimately deliver uh, the Tron light cycle experience for our guests here at the Magic Kingdom. There was a lot of work that went into preparing for this day. All of the horizontal work, the, the earth work, the underground electrical work. We've been under construction for over a year now, and now here we are going vertical. This is one of over 300 columns that are going to be going up, some up to almost 80 feet tall. Guests are going to love this experience here at Magic Kingdom. It's a unique coaster experience for us because you're kind of sitting on the back of a motorcycle. You're getting digitized into the digital world, placed on a light cycle, and you get to race as a team against some opponents. Uh, it, it's amazing. The, the daytime and the nighttime experience are completely different, and uh, guests need to come and ride it as many times as they can because it, it feels different every time. Let's, let's go back there for a second, though. Didn't he say that they're just now going vertical after a year of construction? Why did it take so long? Now, you know me, I'm not one to report solely on rumors, but Disney filed paperwork with the city of Orlando, which sort of led some credence to this rumor. Essentially, it all boils down to too much water. I mean, we, we are still in a swamp, right? This is Orlando. Allegedly, during initial land surveying and structural testing, some of the test supports were sinking into the central Florida mud. This obviously is not what you want for a massive steel roller coaster, so Disney had to go back to the drawing board. Eventually, they ended up building retention ponds for the water next to where Tron is going. These are the things you can see as you're riding into the Magic Kingdom on the monorail right in front of where Tron is being built. It's to help keep all of that water out of the way of Tron. It's not known how long of a delay it had on the ride, it could have been a couple months, maybe even a full year, but Disney got it sorted out, and as the Imagineers said earlier, they went vertical at last. Another reason it could have been taking too long is what essentially just boils down to contracts. You see, all of the overseas parks have these things called exclusivity clauses in their attractions contracts, which means you can't bring attractions that are exclusive to these overseas parks like Disney Sea, Paris, and Shanghai over to Disneyland and Disney World until a certain amount of time has elapsed. In this case, maybe about five years. You know, rides like Phantom Manor, Mystic Manor, essentially just the manors, but also Ratatouille and Tron. The exclusivity deal for Tron was five years, and Shanghai opened in 2016, which would mean that Tron could have opened last year in 2021. This is what people think the reason is why Disney was building the attraction so slow. They wanted it to get up and operating just at the time when the exclusivity deal terminated. They were trying to pace themselves, and that uh, turned out not to be a great thing. And to be fair to Chapek, this does seem like the original plan, to have it open in 21 just in time for both the 50th anniversary of the resort and the exclusivity deal to terminate. So the land problems to begin with, plus the exclusivity deal, plus what was coming later on down the line in 2020, you can kinda start to see why Tron is being delayed year after year after year after year. But it's not all doom and gloom surrounding Light Cycle Run, which is, by the way, the American name for the ride. In Shanghai, it's called Tron Light Cycle Power Run, and here it's just Tron Light Cycle Run. It's just a little fun fact for you. Throughout 2021, construction has been speeding up. You'll notice that it's going a lot quicker than it was the past, what, four years? And we can even see some encouraging signs that things are moving along quicker than they thought because we saw the railroad testing the other day at the Magic Kingdom. This isn't the Disneyland Railroad, no. The Magic Kingdom, Walt Disney World Railroad, was on the track, steaming along, 
during park hours. That, that's a massive step forward. And I think we can all sort of agree with Disney-fied Ash, the woman who filmed this video, when she says... <laughs> Even more good outdoor news, as of a couple weeks ago they started to install the canopy that will hover above the track as the light cycles speed around outside. Okay, well everything's looking good outside, everything's coming along, well what about inside? We, we don't actually know what it looks like inside because we can't go in there. It'd be cool if we could, but we can't. But various show elements have been pictured being delivered to the Magic Kingdom on the back of trucks, like the light cycles themselves and different grid pieces. And honestly, that's what I'm most excited for for this roller coaster. Not the fact that it's going to go fast or go outside, but because I want to go into the grid and be part of Tron Legacy because that's just the best Disney movie ever made. One of them, at least. But now it's my favorite time of the video, prediction time. When is this darn thing going to open? Well, that is a loaded question and also an unknown and scary one. So, it, just to make a long story short, I, uh, I don't know. But, if I had to guess, I would say we are looking at probably a summer 2023 opening. It could be earlier. I think it could even be stretched back to spring or maybe, maybe fall or winter of 2022. But I'm gonna go for a hard summer 2023. I think that's gonna be when Tron is finally gonna open. The only reason that I say 2022 is possible is because they might want to open it in time for the end of the 50th anniversary celebration. They opened Ratatouille and Space 220, all of those rides for the beginning of the celebration, and now you're going to want to have a way to end it. A way to go out with a bang, and what better bang is there than Tron Light Cycle Run? I mean, I I would show up, I'll wait four hours, I'll, I'll wait seven hours in line for that ride. I just I want to go into the grid. I don't know if you noticed that or not. All I know is that whenever they do end up opening, I will be there on opening day, and if I'm wrong, about the opening day of summer 2023 I, uh, I owe whichever one of you finds me and stops me there a dole whip that that's a promise so I've given you my opinion when do you think Tron light cycle run is going to open up at the Magic Kingdom could it be soon could it be you know within the next year or so here or is it a little further out I'd love to hear what you think when am I finally going to be able to get onto a light cycle? At the end of the day, Tron Light Cycle Run strikes me as sort of the opposite of the Galactic Star Cruiser, where they wanted to build it quickly and get it open just for people to experience, and you can tell because it's very low quality and a lot of people are upset, but Tron, they seem to be taking their time because they want to get it right, and obviously they should because it's such an amazing attraction that deserves to be done well. But uh, what do I know? I'm just the biggest Tron Legacy fan out there. All I want to do, all I've ever wanted to do, is ride a light cycle. And if I'm going to ride a light cycle, I have to do it in fashion. And uh, as you can clearly see, I, I can't really pull off the, the Sam Flynn look. I'm not great at it. So I need something a bit more fashionable. How about clothing so high quality and fashionable, it can make even people like me look good? Huh? Everyone, you know deep, deep down I am three things. A Tron fan, a Tiki fan, and a Haunted Mansion fan. And Park Candy has me covered on two of those three uh, occasions. Park Candy, make a Tron Tiki shirt. That would be really, really cool. It's an untapped market. Whether you're a Tiki boy like me, a Tiki girl, or you just want a super cool backpack or spaceship earth blanket, Park Candy has you covered. And by using the offer code OFFHAND, you get 10% off of your entire purchase. So you don't let that go to waste. And it helps out the channel. So uh, you'd be helping me out, helping me... Uh, Get, get my ticket to go ride Tron Light Cycle Power Run. D Disney, can I just pay extra to just go on it early? Is that a thing? The fabric used in these clothes are super high quality, and if any of them interest you, please head over to parkcandy.com and browse their selection of apparel, purses, phone cases, glassware, pillows, blankets. They really do got it all, and it really do be perfect for the Disney fan in all of us. Thank you to you for watching this video, and thank you to Park Candy for sponsoring this video. You know, it's times like these that I'm thankful I'm not actually in the grid because the wait for Light Cycle Run would have been more like 300 years rather than the five years we've had to wait, which uh, seems a little bit too long for me, am I right, fellow Tron fans? Oh, this ride needs to open, I'm losing my mind. Hello everybody, and thank you for watching this video about me losing my mind trying to figure out when Tron Light Cycle Run is going to open at the Magic Kingdom. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button, and if you're new around here and you want more videos like this where I talk about Tron, hit the subscribe button, I will make sure to keep you all up to date with what is going on with the, ro with the roller coaster, and uh, I'm, I'm gonna be there when it opens, so you can mark my words. Mark them. Are they marked? Good. A massive thank you to all of my Patreon supporters over at Patreon.com. Head over there and even just $1 a month gets you access to most of the perks. They are the ones who help keep this all going. So a massive thank you to them 
and uh, you might, might want to join their ranks soon. Just saying. You can follow me on all of my different social medias. I am at Offhand Disney on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. TikTok especially, you're going to get some exclusive content there that you're not going to be getting anywhere else. So I uh, highly recommend if you're an Offhand Disney super fan. And that, everybody, is it for the end card today. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.